The 2009 Outback Challenge begins a new era for this long-running 4x4 event with a new format and more of the famous tough stages. The sand at Deneen, mud at Viewmont and rocks of Palamica are combined with difficult navigation tests. 23 teams, including two from Venezuela, made their way to Broken Hill for seven days of intense competition. Old and new faces were lining up to take on all that the region could throw at them. This year, everyone travels in convoy from stage to stage, so we'll know who's in the lead by the end of each day. There are two classes, production and the more modified challenge trucks. Everyone was looking forward to getting out and into the bush. As the light was fading, trucks and spectators gathered at Stevens. Venezuelans Nunzio Cafaro and Daniel Manessis are back for more. The first time. I'm nervous because, you know, it's Times for the first and second runs of the Perilla Prologue are added together for the final time of the night. The two stages are run simultaneously. The Mihailov McGilvray team in the green GQ are on stage two, with Brett Burns and James Simmons on stage three. With an unsecured toolbox, Brett Burns was spilling hardware around the track. West Australian Alan McGilvray was part of last year's winning team, co-driving for Adrian Parker. 3.02 is a modest result. John Clemens and Tony Bright are based in Broken Hill and are the local favourites. These stages in Broken Hill provide a good chance for the town to watch the challenge without having to travel too far. Greg Scanlon's been competing in the Outback Challenge for seven years. Robbie Kelvert and Andy Miller in the disco. Greg's engine has injector problems. They haven't been able to sort it out, so it's running on five cylinders. team must get at least one green tag and one pink tag during the stage. The more distant green tags are worth more than the closer pink tags. The more points visited during the four hour time limit, the higher the score. The car started out at a six cylinder, ended up at a five and has been that way all week. It's the first of the new era Outback Challenges. It's been a great success, enjoyed by competitors, spectators and officials. Make sure you're ready to join the fun. The challenge win is a great result for Greg Scanlon, a long-time supporter of the event. And this is how the final points tallies looked.
always a hard charger, this year Greg and Liam combined speed with reliability. A named observer said this is helping protect the engine from Greg's press-on style. They come home in a time of 3.11, giving them third place for the stage, just behind Bruce Borkard. After stage five, Scanlon and Nuns hang on to a slender overall lead, just three points ahead of McMullen and Barkley.